वेलकम एवरी वन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स मूव रियली फास्ट येस्टरडे ओनली विच वर टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्री थ्री मिनी वर्सेज लामा फ्री एट बिलियन मॉडल एंड टूडे ओनली वी सी दैट एप्पल हैज ऑल्सो कम आउट विद देयर ओन स्मॉल लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स विद द ओपन एल्म सीरीज सो यू कैन सी हेयर दे हैज ओपन एल्म मॉडल्स यू नो अपडेटेड एटीन आवर्स अगो टू सेवेंटी मिलियन पैरामीटर्स फोर फिफ्टी मिलियन पैरामीटर्स वन पॉइंट वन बिलियन पैरामीटर्स एंड थ्री बिलियन पैरामीटर्स एंड द कोरस्पॉन्डिंग इंस्ट्रक्ट वर्जन एज वेल here is the link to the paper uh, that was released i will link the paper and the model card from hugging face in the description below and also you can find a video you know video link here where we were talking about llama 3 versus fi 3 mini model i wasn't able to get the 3 billion model running uh, but in this video what i will be doing is i'll be uh, walking over one uh, thing is that it is very unclear on the model card as to how you can uh get it up and running so if you use this this will give you an error because the tokenizer is not mentioned so if you move below here it mentioned yes so the tokenizer is mentioned here because they are using the llama 27 million hugging face tokenizer which i don't know why they haven't mentioned from the get go that it, you have to use that tokenizer and also the generation is a bit uh, messy you can't use just the tokenizer and then pass that in the pipeline uh so in this we'll first go over how you can set up the generation for the apple model and how and then we'll post them some questions both to the fi3 model and the 1.1 billion parameter model and see the performance all right let's get started so i'm going to import the hugging face hub and load in my question so i'm asking this time 1 2 3 4 5 questions one is the simple pattern question which if you remember in the video the last time neither fi3 nor llama38 billion was able to answer a very simple sql question a simple math question and two logical puzzles right so let's load in our fi3 model so this one is simple you just have to load the tokenizer and you can pass them into a pipeline right with the apple open l model things are a little bit different all right you have to pass the tokenizer which is llama2 7 billion hugging face model you know and you know this is not necessary and then you know the model is the 1.1 billion instruct model now you have to prepare the prompt as you know before the pipeline which is you have to pass the tokens and then you have to uh move them to the torch you know make it a torch tensor and move it to the cuda device or cpu if you're using it and you have to unsqueeze the prompt and to generate it you have to pass you have to get the output ids from the model they are in the you know in the code which apple has provided in it's hidden in the hugging face hub they also pass an assistant model so i'm passing the same model as the assistant model here you have to mention the pad token id as 0 and the max length so uh, we'll tune the max length according to the response for the questions and then you have to get the output to text by decoding the tokenized output so then you have to do this all right so let's begin let's see how does fi3 uh, work on the maths question uh and you know spoiler alert it solves it you know i have run this code before so i know the response so okay it should should be any second now meanwhile i have to mention that you know although the apple model is a bit obscure it's a very good thing for the general community that apple is supporting the open source llm uh, let's wait for a while all right my compute units are also about to expire Okay meanwhile while this response gets generated i have already ran the response for the rest and all right as soon as i told that the response has been generated so here you can see the question is find x and y from these equations x minus 2y is equal to 10 and 2x plus y is equal to 0 be brief in your response it wasn't brief but you see given the equations it goes through the logical 
reasoning of multiplying the second equation by 2 and then adding it up to get the value of x and then it gets the value of y, right? And if I ask the open -L, you know, 1.1 billion model to, you know, answer the same question, it makes an attempt is what I will say, but, you know, as you will see, it is not able to solve it, you know. It tries to do some kind of linear equation solution, but, you know, as you can see, it's just random things. It's not, it, it looks that it's coherent, but it's not, and then it arrives at the wrong solution, right? So same with the pattern recognition, right? I will not run the code because, you know, it will take some time. So that's why I ran it beforehand. In the pattern recognition, you know, again, the fee three model understands that there's some pattern of cubing, but it arrives at the wrong solution. Whereas the OpenL model just falls flat. It is, it's just random output. It's just plain old gibberish. Same way with SQL, you will see that the fee three model again does well on it. It, I mean, it's expected. It's a 3.8 billion parameter model. So it's expected it's gonna outperform the 1.1 billion parameter model. But as you can see, it gives me some SQL, which looks good, you know, it might work, but I think it will not work, but it also tries to give me a straightforward answer. It's truncated because the max length is at 300 tokens, right? And if I check, you know, the same question with the Apple model, the reason we can run it is because the inferencing is fast for this model, it's only 1.1 billion. It also gives me a wrong answer. So on the coding aspect of it, I don't think fee three mini has a leg over the Apple 1.1 billion model, but it gives, you know, slightly better code than the Apple model, right? And let's, in the logical responses where fee three shines. So this is a question which a lot of humans also get wrong, which is a bat and a ball cost 1.1. And the difference between a bat and a ball is one. How much does each cost? The knee jerk reaction is okay. The bat is one and the ball is, uh, you know, 10 cents, but that is wrong. So it solves it uh, according to the principles of linear algebra, you know, linear equations. It uh, solves this problem into two equations and it arrives at the right solution that the bat is $1.05 and the ball costs 5 cents. Math is definitely not the strong suit for the open L models even with 1.1 billion parameters, it just, you know, let's regenerate it to see, you know, whether it will still blabber on or, you know, uh, will it generate different response. Uh, no, it, again, it just flies off, you know, a bad B minus one ball difference one, you know, it, it can't do reasoning with itself. And remember there's an assistant model also being provided to it so uh, it should do well but you know uh, but for a 1.1 billion parameter model it's not so bad and then it's logical puzzle too it takes five machines five minutes to make five widgets how long does it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets so we know it will be five because you know if five machines make take five minutes to make five widgets and 100 machines will also take five minutes so it arrives at the right solution it still takes five minutes for 100 machines the number of machines and widgets scales linearly, so the time remains the same, right? So fee three is again bang on in its response uh, with, you know, with the, uh, you know, open L 1.1 billion model, you'll see it tries to arrive at a solution by doing some sort of reasoning. In my first attempt, it didn't arrive at the right solution. So it takes five minutes to make five widgets. So, it makes some calculations, i, j, i plus one machines, 60 seconds, then, you know, it looks like it's doing a lot, but it somehow comes out to be eight minutes, which is wrong, you know, it's very straightforward. So there you go. On these five questions, I will say, Open Elm 1.1 billion model is good, but uh, it still has a long way to go to be considered a good language model. Whereas we can see in this test that, you know, V3 uh, mini with 3.8 billion parameters is actually very good. I mean, probably it's at par with Llama 3.8 billion, you know, that's just my gut feeling that, you know, it's it has 
almost like the 80 to 90 percent performance of Llama 3 8 billion while having 50 percent less parameters all right I will try to get the 3 billion model running and probably I'll uh, put out another video regarding its performance compared to v3 uh, mini 3.8 billion parameters and then probably you know that model might be better than Microsoft's but for now Apple in this particular regard falls behind Microsoft. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.